this project is incredibly um, meaningful to me personally and to, to New York, to America, I think. Um, I feel very fortunate to have been able to, to contribute in some way to this. One thing that was very important to me was to, to highlight the feeling of loss, the feeling of absence, the, that void that was left in the, after the destruction. I imagine the water flowing into these voids, yet never filling them up, that sense of constant and ceaseless uh, absence left behind. I tried to bring those, those empty containers, uh, that, um, that loss, to the site for the two voids that you see here, marking the footprints of the towers. Throughout the entire design process, we were talking to, to many families of, 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 of the lost and consulted with them extensively throughout. There's one aspect of the design that I'm most proud of that I feel had great meaning to family members. It is the way the names are arranged on the memorial. And they're arranged according to a system that I call meaningful adjacency. We reached out to the families and said, are there names of other people who perished that day that you would like to see next to the name of the person that you lost? And it gave family members the opportunity to bring very deep personal meaning to the arrangement of names on the memorial in the vicinity of each other. Uh, and we got over 1,200 requests for adjacency. Can you put this name next to that name? What it does, I think, it really kind of takes that abstraction of close to 3,000 dead and it turns it into very individual stories that you can relate to.